Hello, this is Dan again at Bill and Dan's Excellent Emporium. I think it's time for us to learn how to actually list an item on eBay. The first thing we have to do is find an item to list. I have found this um, puzzle. It's a thousand piece puzzle. Um, it's a vintage puzzle illustrating the French Riviera, I guess, or um, the Riviera, the Mediterranean Riviera. <clears throat> It was made by Gordon Downey. It's a thousand pieces. So this is all important information that I need to have before I go to eBay to research how much the item is worth. Um, you can, or the best way to start selling on eBay is to just find items around your house that you don't want anymore and sell them on eBay. This is a puzzle that we actually found at a thrift shop for a couple dollars. It's probably not worth more than 20, but a $2 investment with an $18 profit isn't bad. So um, I'm going to show you now how to research what the puzzle would be worth or um, show you how to research on eBay to figure out the value of your items. Come with me. So here we are at the main eBay page. Um, I've already signed in under my Auction Amigo screen name. And as I've mentioned before, there's a search bar at the top of every eBay page. And this is where we'll start our search to figure out the value of this Gordon Downey thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. I will start by um, putting in just a few keywords to see what it pulls up. Let's see, let's try um, Gordon Downey puzzle and see if there are any other Gordon Downey puzzles listed on eBay. There's only one, a koala puzzle that somebody has for sale for $12.99. Now over here on the left hand side of eBay, there's lots of uh, options you can check when you're searching. I want to see if any Gordon Downey puzzles have sold in the last 30 days. So I clicked the sold button here. No, no Gordon Downey puzzles have sold. Let's see if any have even been listed and completed. We can click on this completed listings button. Let's see if there are any that have, were listed but didn't sell. Just this one um, koala bear puzzle. So um, that's not very many similar items. Sometimes that's a good thing, meaning that it's a rare puzzle or a rare item that nobody else has sold. Sometimes it means that nobody wants your item so nobody's selling them. Let's try uh, searching a different keyword. Let's try Riviera puzzle and see what comes up. Click the search button. There are 47 Riviera puzzles that, are, that have uh, completed now they're all in black, or most of them are in black. Black means that they didn't sell, or the price is in black. Let's, um, let's click on sold listings and see if any Riviera puzzles sold. Well, look at there. A couple did. One 500 piece puzzle. But look, they didn't sell for very much. Are these new or used puzzles? This is a big difference in puzzles. A new puzzle is worth a lot more than a used puzzle where you're not positive that all the pieces are still there. Looks like people like this 3D Mediterranean Village puzzle. One sold for $70. Um, here's a 500 piece Riviera puzzle. Sold for $5.42 with free shipping. Uh, I don't know how the seller did that. They lost money on that puzzle because it costs at least $5 to ship a puzzle. Um, so our puzzle is very unique. There have been none listed or sold in the past 30 days, just like our puzzle. From my eBay experience, I know that a thousand piece um, vintage puzzle is worth approximately $20. So that's what I think we should list this, this puzzle at. 
So that was our first step in researching. You research by using the search bar and looking for like items using few keywords to pull up more options. And over here we can decide whether we want to see a sold listing or a completed listing. And often I use this button for new or used depending on what I'm selling. This is considered a new puzzle. So uh, tune back in for the next step in selling an item on eBay. Thank you.